the diagram shows a car park barrier being lifted to allow a car to pass through. One look at this, okay, you know that this is on electricity, okay? Not only is it on electricity, it is also a little bit on magnets, right? So this is actually not a short answer uh, because you need to explain how this car park barrier is able to work. Okay, so they say which part of the setup becomes an electromagnet, right? So give a reason for your answer. So, oh, this is, a, this is a very simple question first. They ask you which part of the setup becomes an electromagnet. So all you have to say is, it's just a what? The iron rod. Correct, but after identifying the iron rod, how do you explain why will it become an electromagnet or why is it able to become an electromagnet? Yes, I know that there's cause of wire around the iron rod. But why do you think the iron rod can become an electromagnet? So the first thing you all have to tell me is, number one, the iron rod is made of a magnetic material because bear in mind, magnetic materials will only be able to be magnetized to become temporary magnets. Only magnetic materials can become temporary magnets. Okay? Secondly, Okay, then I bring in the cause of wire. Yes, you are right. There are cause of wires around the iron rod. And we know that electricity will flow through the cause of wire around the iron rod. That's why the iron rod can be magnetized to become an electromagnet. You all got it? Okay, so first bring in the magnetic material. Secondly, talk about the electricity being able to flow through the coils of wire around the iron rod. Bear in mind, electricity doesn't, go, doesn't flow through the iron rod. Ah. It flows through the coils of wire Okay, that is around this iron rod. That's how it becomes or that's how it gets magnetized to become an electromagnet. Okay, moving on okay, to part B. How does the part identified in A help to raise the barrier? So like I said, okay, again, I'm going to give you all your... I'm going to refresh with you all and recap the steps that I taught you all when you all are explaining electricity, right? So what are the steps here that when, when we talk about electricity? The first step, okay, is what? It's always the situation, right? I told you all this before. Situation means what happens. Are they opening the switch or is the switch closed? Okay, so this is the situation. That's the first part. Step two, after you tell me whether what's the situation, you must always tell me whether it's an open or closed circuit, followed by what, right? Followed by telling me, does it allow electricity to flow through or does it prevent electricity from flowing through? Okay, step four is always the outcome. All right, so these are the steps that we give you, okay? Your school is not going to tell you all these steps, okay? So this is the steps that I'm giving you, right? So that at least in exam, you know what is needed to get your full marks, okay? So let's talk about this now. How does part identified in A help to raise the barrier, okay? So first and foremost, we know that, okay, the, in this case, my question is, do I need to apply the electricity four steps here? No. Okay, because they ask you straight away from part A. So from the iron rod part. So once it becomes an electromagnet, okay, what do we know about this? The electromagnet will be able to attract the iron weight. And why will it attract the iron weight? Because it is made of a magnetic material. Okay, so this is something you must always add. So the electromagnet will be able to attract the iron weight, which is made of a magnetic material. And what will happen to it when it attracts, always link back. What happens to it when it attracts? The iron weight will get pulled down. That's how the kappa barrier gets raised. Okay, it's very simple, this one. But I added this, okay? This is your electromagnetic magnetism. What can it do? It can always act at a distance. Okay? Magnetic magnetism can always act at a distance. Okay? Which is made of a magnetic material. And that's how the iron weight will move down towards the electromagnet. And that's how the barrier gets raised. 